welcome to another episode of Dumb Guys Talk. I'm Barry. I'm Heath. Today, we're going to talk about time travel paradoxes. That's right, and I've heard this called the bootstrap paradox or the grandfather paradox, but if somebody from the future places something in the past, and that person in the past takes that thing, where did it come from? What the hell? Yeah, well, that was weird. That was weird. Where'd it come from? I don't know, it just fell from the sky. Well, anyway, we're talking about time travel. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the grandfather paradox. That's where you go back in time before you were born and kill your grandfather, therefore making it impossible for you to be born. Who killed your grandfather? Well, maybe there is a multiverse like the movie The One. Well, we're going to find out. We have here a time machine that we can use to send objects back in time. We don't know anything about time travel, and we don't even understand this paradox. So Heath, what do you think is going to happen when we put an object into this time machine? If I've learned anything, traveling back in time can have drastic effects on the future we know today. You must be referring to the butterfly effect. Well, according to chaos theory, the butterfly effect is a sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of dermatologistic nonlinear systems can result in a large deterrence in later state. It's also a movie with a guy that played Kelso. Indeed it is. Well, I do find chaos theory interesting. Doc Brown says time travel could tear us apart the space-time continuum. Well said, Heath. Now, do you think it makes a difference if the time traveler is an inanimate object? You mean like the Terminator? I mean exactly like the Terminator. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm guessing that the time traveling object would be stuck in a time loop regurgitated five times, keep getting worse, and then at the end, a little better. Interesting point. Yet another theory suggests that time cannot be changed. It can only be viewed. I believe Stephen Hawking referred to this as time tourists, or as the 12 monkeys scenario. However, I believe this scenario has holes in it, because how can you visit people from the past without affecting their place in history? What if you can travel back in time, but you're kind of like a ghost that can't affect anything? or perhaps destiny, that our paths have already been set and any intervention by a tra time-traveling being would have been part of our predetermination. Perhaps. It's interesting, but a bit far-fetched. Well, we can see who's right and drop something in this time machine. How about this? Sure. You should put your hand in. That's what she said, and I think you should do it. Rock, paper, scissors? All right. Oh, uh, you gotta do it. No, oh, man. It just feels like empty space. I wonder where your arm is right now. Or when it is. Well, that wraps up another episode. Yes, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. What do you think we should put in next? How about an apple? Looks like we already decided. What now? Why'd you push me? <laughs>